Did you know that the average knowledge worker spends about an hour and a half every single day either task switching or looking for information? And I've spent hundreds of hours myself looking for the perfect Mac apps to help me be more efficient and more productive. I've put together my top 10 favorite apps that have collectively saved me over hundreds and hundreds of hours. And the best part is they're either free, one-off purchases, or they are subscription-based, but you don't actually need to subscribe. Welcome back to the Feel Productive channel. My name's Ez, and on this channel, we explore tech through the lens of productivity. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first app is Raycast, which is a very powerful spotlight replacement tool for your Mac. Raycast takes it to the next level. And I think what makes it so unique is it has this store with extensions for very popular tools and apps that you might already be using. So effectively, it's like 20 or 30 apps in one. And I've got so many different use cases for it. So I'll take you through how I use it. So if I hit command space and type quick, uh, you can see here that I've added the tick tick extension, which is my to do list task manager. And if I hit enter, I can then quickly add tasks as soon as I think of them straight from Raycast itself. I can then go back into the inbox again, accessing it through Raycast and see that record B-roll task is in there. So whenever I have a thought, I can just very quickly get it out and get it straight into TickTick without even having to open TickTick itself. I can search for notes in Apple Notes and in Notion, and this is something you can't do using the default spotlight for Mac. So if I type search and go into search notes, I can then type my search term, let's say productivity, and I get all of the notes that contain the word productivity. And the same thing for Notion, so I can go into search Notion and basically search through my entire database of stuff that I've got in there. You can also trigger shortcuts that you've already set up yourself in Apple Shortcuts, which I find super useful. Another really cool use case, um, when I'm writing something, I can very quickly go to my emoji picker. I've set up a shortcut in Raycast for this, which is Command E. So if I am typing something, I just hit Command E, quickly type what I want to find, hit return, and it pastes it straight into my note. I use this multiple times a day, so I just use emojis a lot. You can also do stuff like finding files and folders and stuff like that, which is pretty standard. And you can automatically position your window according to how you want it to look, which is super nice. Again, it means you don't need to touch your mouse and you can just very quickly organize what you're seeing into different parts of the screen. Honestly, I think I've just scratched the surface and could probably make a video just dedicated to Raycast. I'd love to hear in the comments below how you use Raycast if you're already using it. And if you're not, make this the one app on this list that you definitely, definitely try. Next is an app called CleanShot X, which is the ultimate screen capture tool to replace your default one in your Mac. And I'll show you why it's so much better. So I use it for three main things, although it offers so much more. The first is for selective screen capture. So if I hit Command Shift 4, I can then select a part of the screen to capture. You can see I have so many different options from cropping to adding a background to adding shapes, arrows, text, redacting things, blurring things. There's so much you can do within this one part of the tool. Next is the OCR, the character recognition function. So if you've got a PDF or an image and you want to take the text from it and you can't select the text, obviously, then this tool is perfect for that. And I probably use this at least once every single day for so many different reasons. It's just such a useful feature. And the third main way is actually recording the screen. So this does so much more than just record your screen. You can also add a picture in picture mode where you can show your face talking to the screen as you're recording the screen, which is super cool. And I'm actually using it for this very video to record the tutorials as you might have already gathered. And so, so much more. I absolutely love this tool. Next is an app called My Mind, which is an AI powered personal content library that helps you save and organize everything you come across. So that could be notes, images, PDFs, links, videos, anything you want. You just capture it in this tool and allow the AI to kind of sort it all out for you. So if I capture something, let's say I've captured this screenshot of this thumbnail. If I go into it, it automatically indexes it for me and just gives me a bunch of different tags, which is super useful. And then also like an AI summary at the top to tell you what it is. Now, why this is useful is because your mind is collectively analyzing all of the stuff and 
in the background kind of linking everything together. And so if I then go to search my mind and let's say, for example, I type the word apps, you'll then see every single card that relates to the word apps. And it might not have the word apps in the actual card itself, but the AI has been intelligent enough to see that something in the card relates back to apps. I now trust this app to basically find the stuff I need really, really quickly and also make links between these different things, which helps me with actually producing content. I do actually have a space they're called, which is just a collection of different cards that you've captured. And I've got one, for example, for thumbnails. So I do some minimal organizing, but generally speaking, I just lump everything into this app. The way I do it is through the share sheet on my phone or through the browser extension on my computers. It's a really intuitive experience. And if you pay for the pro subscription, you also get some really nice additional features. You get some more advanced AI features. You also get a reader mode. So if you save articles, you get this really nice, clean reader interface, distraction free. One of the coolest AI features you get from the pro mode is if you click on a card and you want to create a mood board from it, you just click on same vibe in the bottom left and then it generates this mood board for you automatically based on the card that you picked. So again, you don't even need to go to like Pinterest to create mood boards anymore. Just keep everything in here and you have that functionality built in. Next is an app called Portal for Mac, which is a powerful focus and productivity tool that transforms your work environment through immersive soundscapes and stunning visuals. It's quite simple, really. You open the app and you choose whether you'd like to focus, create or escape. And depending on which one you choose, you get a slightly different experience. But effectively, you're getting high quality nature sounds. And the idea is it enhances your focus and reduces distractions. And it actually changes your wallpaper into this dynamic environment, which is super cool. And if you have a Philips Hue or a Nanoleaf lighting system set up, as I have here, it's even cooler because it changes your entire lighting to fit the scene. There is a paid subscription if you want to unlock loads and loads of different scenes, but actually the default scenes alone for focus, create and escape are enough for me to just get me in the mood for distraction free creative work. Next is Clean My Mac X, which is a comprehensive system cleanup and optimization tool for optimizing Mac performance so your computer isn't gonna be the thing holding you back from being productive. So the new version offers these features. There's a cleanup section, which basically cleans and optimizes your Mac hard drive space to give you optimal performance. There's a protection section, which as you might expect, offers malware detection and removal. There's a performance section for maintenance tasks and background activities to optimize how your machine is functioning. And there's the application section, which I find super useful, where you can update all of the apps installed on your machine or actually remove them really cleanly. So when you install apps on your machine, there's often many other files and folders that are associated with that app that also get installed. And Clean My Mac X basically finds them all and removes them all at the same time. And there's also a My Clutter feature which analyzes and visualizes your files in a specified folder to see if there are any duplicates of files that you can delete. So if you feel like your Mac is not running at an optimal level, Clean My Mac X is such a great tool one-off purchase and no they're not sponsoring this video by the way links to all of these apps are in the description below courtesy of channel partner tool finder and if you want more tech and productivity content feel free to like and subscribe drop zone 4 is a productivity utility that provides quick access to frequent actions and file operations so basically when you're doing stuff with files in Finder and you need to do something like move or copy a file to another folder or you wanna share it via email, all you simply do is grab the file or folder you want and drag it into the top corner to drop zone and you can perform some kind of action or you can just leave it there as a retainer and go and find it later to drag it into the location you want it to go to. You might think of this as quite a niche app, but actually once you've installed it and you've tried it, you kind of default to using it whenever you're in Finder and you wanna do something really quickly. But there are a bunch of other actions, like you can install apps really quickly or unzip or zip files. You can download YouTube videos or YouTube audio from videos. It's just super convenient and just saves me so many clicks 
that I don't quite know how I'd live without it. So if you're wondering why my menu bar looks a little bit different, that's because of Bartender 5. Bartender 5 is a menu bar organization tool that helps declutter and manage your Mac's top bar. So the main reason I use this is basically to help hide all of the distracting icons in the top corner of my Mac. This way I can create a minimalist vibe and just stay focused on the task at hand. That being said, you can create different rules to show and hide different icons depending on different triggers. For example, if my Wi-Fi gets disconnected, then the Wi-Fi symbol will actually show. And there are so many cool little design tweaks that you can do like splitting the menu bar as I've done here. It's probably more extensive than what I need, but to be honest, just being able to hide these icons in itself is an absolute game changer for my focus and productivity. Amphetamine is a powerful keep awake utility that prevents your Mac from sleeping. Now, how often during presentations or whilst you're trying to do something, does your Mac automatically go to sleep? And then you have to try and unlock it and put your password in and it's this whole thing. And Amphetamine is an app designed to help remedy that problem. You can create different triggers so that if you open different apps, it will automatically run a session to prevent your Mac from sleeping. That worry now no longer exists with Amphetamine. I absolutely love the app Haze Over. It's a focus tool that dims the background windows to help you concentrate on just the active window. And this is particularly useful when you have a big monitor and you have lots of different things open, but you just wanna focus on one thing at a time. You can pretty much adjust the intensity of the dimming to almost completely black out everything but the main window that you're looking at. You can automatically turn it off and on with a keyboard shortcut, which is pretty useful because you might not want it on all the time. And it has support for multiple displays, which makes this even better. Basically, I found that this one very basic utility has helped me focus more, concentrate more on the task at hand, and mitigates the perils of multitasking, which is just the most overwhelming thing for me, just having loads of different windows open. So if you wanna help your concentration, give Haze Over a try. Perplexity is an AI powered research assistant that helps you find and understand information quickly. Basically, it's the new Google for me. I only ever use Google very sparingly if I absolutely have to, but by default now is actually going to perplexity. It has a natural language search interface for really complex queries. So if I type, for example, how often will there be a full moon on the 5th of February between now and 2050? You can bet your bottom dollar that Google is not gonna find you this answer quickly. Whereas Perplexity will find this information almost in real time, and it will also tell you which sources it's taken its information from. The AI powered summaries and explanations are, I think are really useful, but just very quickly and succinctly giving you exactly the information you need when you need it. And there are so many different use cases for perplexity, but just on the surface level, using it for Google searches alone makes this free tool absolutely worth using and worthy of being on your dock for your Mac. So those are the 10 apps that combined have saved me hundreds and hundreds of hours. If there are any apps that you think I should try that I've maybe missed on this list, then let me know in the comments below and I'm always happy to try your suggestions. And if you want to see all of my hidden iPhone apps that I use for productivity, I'll leave a link to that just up here. I'll see you on the next one.